All right, so today <clears throat> we're going to be doing scale factor, and it's really nothing new because we're going to be using proportions to help set, set it up. So the first example is already done for you, but we're going to set it up ourselves just to practice. So it says Terrell my, uh, built a model of an airplane. The length of one wing of the model is four inches long. The scale of the model is one inch for every 17.5 meters. Write the length of the actual wing of the airplane. So your first proportions you would write be one inch over 17.5 meters. Now you need to label your numbers. When your units are different, label it because it makes it really easier to finish it. So because since we have four inches long, <clears throat> excuse me, four inches would go on top. So now all you do is cross multiply. So you do four times 17.5, which is 70. So the wing's actual uh, is 70 meters long. All right, let's try number one. The model of a soccer field is shown. The scale on the model is one inch for every four yards. Manny ran across the length of the soccer field five times. How far did Manny run? Well, so the length is this way. So we're looking at 24 inches. So for every one inch, <clears throat> it is four yards. 24 inches go on top or X. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you do 24 times four, which is 96. But that's only one time. He ran 96 yards five times. So you're going to do 96 times five, which is 480. All right, number two. The map of the park shows that the pond is four inches away from the playground. The scale of the map is one inch for every 5.25 meters. So you have one inch for every 5.25 meters. So four inches comes up here. And cross multiply. Four times 5.25 is 21. So it would be 21 meters away. Number three, Samantha is following a blueprint to build an addition to her house. The kitchen countertop will be 8.75 feet long. The scale of the blueprint is one centimeter for every 1.75 feet. What's the length of the countertop? So you have one centimeter over 1.75 feet. Then this is 8.75 feet on the bottom. Cross multiply, you get 1.75x is equal to 8.75. You divide it. And when you divide it, you get five. Four, a 15 foot tall tree is next to the slide. The tree is casting a shadow of 22.5 feet and the slide is casting a shadow that's 10.5 feet. How tall is it? So I have a tree that's 15 feet tall and the shadow is 22.5 feet. And then I have a slide and I'm just gonna draw it out here. So um, the slide, I don't know how tall it is, but the shadow is 10.5. So I'm going to do x over 15 is equal to 22 point, excuse me, that's not right. I'm going to do x over 15, which is equal to 10.5 over 22.5. And you cross multiply and divide, you get x equals 7. All right, flip to the next page, and we're going to do number 7. A diagram of a lot of land is shown. The scale on the diagram is one centimeter, represents 2.5 yards. What is the area of the actual lot of land? So you're going to write one centimeter over 2.5 yards. Okay. To find the area, I need to change both these dimensions. So I'm going to do seven first. So seven centimeters go on top. So I cross multiply and I get 17.5 equals x. I'm going to redraw my diagram. So this is 17.5 yards. So now I got to do 15 centimeters. So we do again, one centimeter over 2.5 yards is equal to 15 centimeters over x. So we cross multiply 15 times 2.5 is 37.5 yards. And it goes down here. Now, both of those numbers are not my answer, but instead I need to find the area. The way you find the area is you multiply. So you're going to do 37.5 times 17.5. When you do that, you get 656 
0.25 yards squared, which the answer is J. All right, the rest is homework. Um, remember, if you get stuck, set up the proportion, and you can always check it with me. Thank you, guys.